Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Real Builder YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create like original simulator shops. Like I have a very big problem with creating shops until I thought about it more like hey just because it's a shop doesn't quite mean it needs to be like a store if that makes sense. So for today's example let's think of a quick simulator idea. I'm gonna just go with like science simulator okay a little tongue twister science simulator I got it though and instead of building like a store for a shop we could go ahead and build like a vial um i think that's what it's called that has like the little liquid in it usually pink something like that here let me get one first all right guys so i have this map that i kind of started and never really finished but i have a bunch of like sciencey themed stuff in here so for example like something like this would be an option uh, a beaker i don't know why it's spelled like that but you know i can't spell so it's okay or even like one of these would work as well so we'll just take this little potion guy and we're gonna copy him into our base plate all right so for a shop most people be like bro this is not a store what are you doing like that's that's ridiculous it's gonna be all right guys so we're gonna kind of shrink this a little bit make it uh more you know more shop ish i guess something like this i'll uh, probably bring this down just one more time perfect and then bring the cork down perfect just like this and uh maybe a little bit more so i'm thinking like this all right now to make this into a shop we could add like windows and doors to it all right so whatever your theme is gonna be go ahead and take a prop it could be any prop from your map really if you can envision that to make it into a house or into a store that's gonna help a lot i have a few examples of this doing it in other places um let me pull up my other map. All right, guys. So for this map, I didn't necessarily use the trick for a store, but I used it for a teleporter and it's about the same idea. All right. So I have this area over here called the VIP zone. And, um, you know, I didn't want to just reuse. I'm getting myself lost. <laughs> I didn't want to just reuse this portal and color it gold. All right. So I made a crown with a door in it like instead of just making it the crown all right make a little crown and have a door within it and now it gives like like purpose like hey i know what that's gonna be before i go into it all right obviously that's gonna be a teleporter to the vip world so that's like one way to do it guys and uh we just kind of change that to do it for shops so let me go ahead and build some windows and a door and we'll add it on to what we have so this guy right here we're lucky enough that it does have flat surfaces and that's just gonna help everything quite a bit all right so guys i decided to go ahead and make this in the shape of a shop but not using a building itself so as you can see this is the very normal you know bubblegum simulator type shop and i kept our flat faces or at least as close to possible as flat since these are like you know a bit curved but i kept those towards the front now what i could do is add a window right here a window right here and maybe a door in the middle maybe even another window up here we'll just have to see now to make these windows i'm just going to add in a little part i'm on 0.5 increments for moving things that's usually what i build on sometimes i do switch it to 0.25 though because hey you gotta get a, a little precise sometimes all right so i'm just gonna grab these duplicate them turn them a little 180 degrees nice and uh i was actually spot on so that's always nice I'm gonna move this guy down um, and that's not gonna be spot on so this is when I would do like 0.25 and then move this guy up perfect and we can drag both sides in by holding control in like this we forgot to duplicate it though so let's duplicate it hold both sides in and this is gonna make it very very even across the entire thing now we do have a very neon ish thing going on so it's gonna be kind of hard to see the windows but it's all good this is just the idea behind what we should be going for right guys like we're not overly this isn't like the only thing you could use so you don't have to use a, a science vial for example or a beaker whatever i called it uh right now i'm just kind of making these a bit less because it seems like they're a bit too thick so i'm just gonna do this shrink these guys in and this bottom one we can have a little lip actually and do this uh maybe even a little bit bigger shrink that um and add a we could add this as like a little bush or something i don't know maybe not green for the window we'll have blue windows so something like this guys all right it's not perfect i'm just kind of rushing this together to show you guys what i'm talking about now we're gonna go ahead and grab all of this and do Control g to put it in a group and we're just gonna hover it over and that's gonna match its angle at least okay and then we're still gonna have to make like this angle because you know Hey, if you don't want to do that and you want your like doors and your windows to be like still flat so they're not going like inwards like this, it's okay. We can go ahead and take one of the pieces. Uh, let me move. Let me see if these are in, in like the same 
They're close enough, okay? It's a simulator shop. <laughs> so we're gonna grab this piece up top, duplicate it, and just drag it back, all right? And what this is gonna do is give us that illusion that it is indeed all the way back, okay? And we're gonna do the same to this side. All right, so now we have our windows as part of this shop, and I'm not really too, like, keen on this. I don't really like it that much. I'm gonna move these guys up, and I think this guy needs to be moved over a little bit. Something like this looks a lot better to me. Now we're gonna go ahead and build a door. All right, guys, now it's gonna be on to the door. So we're gonna do the same thing, rectangle. Keep in mind, you do not have to copy this tutorial. Uh, I would say word for word, but that doesn't really make sense. But you know, you don't have to copy this tutorial, guys. This is just the idea behind it of using assets from your map to make a simulator shop, guys. This just gives your, your game more life, in my opinion, okay? And that is just my opinion, by the way. By no means am I a master class builder, okay? I just, I just try, okay? And I try to teach some people some stuff and help the whole little community thing that we got going on here. So this guy, we're gonna make it brown. And uh, for the door, I guess I'll go ahead and duplicate one of these. This is very thrown together, guys. If I was working on like an actual game or anything, uh, I would definitely spend quite a bit more time on it. But we're gonna group this together and back it up so it matches up with where it needs to be. Make sure we're not overlapping. This is a weird model, by the way. Uh, hopefully your mesh has a flat side so you're not ending up with stuff like this. But I, I don't think it looks that bad. So we're gonna center this door up a little bit. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Um, I think I want it right underneath this line. And we're gonna bring this out quite a bit so that glow is not affecting the door. Now we're gonna take all of our sides and just scale them all the way back into this. And of course, guys, if I were to spend more time on this, you could add decoration to the sides of all this and make it so it's not just gray going back. There could be like a design. Maybe a decal would help with that. But now we have this and you could definitely tell if you walked up to this that it's a shop. Let me try to make these not neon to see if it helps. So it definitely helps with the uh, the glow situation, but it doesn't really look that great. So what we're going to do is go make these back to neon. And I don't think I can change transparency because we're behind glass. Yeah, so that'll make it fully invisible. Hmm, could I change the glass to plastic maybe? Well, that looks atrocious. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep it just like this, guys. Uh, yeah, you know, it, this is a very curious case. All right, a very uh, case that not a lot of people will end up with. But, you know, take these. And then, of course, you're gonna wanna add something to the top just really sinking it in that this is indeed a shop so we're gonna grab two cylinders i'm gonna go ahead and rotate these bad boys just like this i'm gonna grab uh we'll, we'll scale it up first we'll make it the right size just really big i can always rescale it later and i want to make these a lighter gray i think and maybe a little thinner so let's just do something like that perfect and i'm gonna rotate this one two three three times and then six times going back this way and that is going to give us a good little look so let's grab this guy put him right here this guy put him right here and then we're going to grab both of these and sink them down and i think i'm going to put them inside here now you can still see them so i'm not exactly sure how i want to do this i might have them go in actually so just do six rotations to get back to where we were something like this and then we can drag those back and if you didn't want to see the bottoms of these you can always tuck them in behind the windows just like this so now we need a sign guys people are gonna be like bro i think that's a shop but is it really uh yes yes it is so once again the very very thrown together sign i would highly recommend taking a bit more time when you're gonna go ahead and make something yourself but for now this is what we got and let me see i'm gonna bring this guy out here and we'll just make it kind of a thick boy sign, okay? Like, <laughs> once again, guys, I would spend a lot more time if uh, if I had more time or if this was actually going to be for something. We're going to bring this up or down, maybe. Maybe we could put it, like, right here in this little gap. And we wouldn't really need the pillars. Hmm. Something like that could work. All right, so I decided to have the pillars kind of like that. I know that this one's coming up a little bit taller, but I don't like having like perfect symmetry in my builds. Now to really lock in the things that make shops shops, I'm gonna go ahead and use a plugin called th uh, 3D Text or three, yeah, 3D Text, there we go. You just activate the cursor, click on your surface, 
and I'm just gonna type out shop I usually use all caps and then since we're doing a simulator I'm gonna do this bubbly kind of font and I guess we'll make it red to kind of match what we got going on now if you click finalize and you don't like it you can always go back and change it with your properties and everything like that so we're gonna add shop right here and then we need to add our little ring so what i like to do to make the rings guys this is just like my personal preference as of recently what i've been doing so just grab something like this and then we're going to open up my favorite plugin archimedes right here uh this one and then render circle and now i'm going to go through and i'm going to grab every third one guys so one 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 just like this grab all of these and we're gonna do uh i should probably do blue because blue is like uh, the very simulator-esque shop all right so let's make these neon and then i'm gonna grab a cylinder rotate this and fill in the middle all right guys so check it out here's our shop i am gonna go ahead and change the color of everything so let me make this a nice blue and then i'll grab the interior of all of these which i believe are these pieces like so and I can't go too light because the neon. So maybe like, okay, something like this actually looks pretty decent. So then I would change this to blue as well. And then it's transparency down quite a bit. Something like that, guys. So this is like a pretty unique shop, all right? And uh, I, oh gosh, glass really is making it look worse. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, potion bottles made with glass and neons might not have been the best idea. But as you can see, I made it work and I made it into a shop. Uh, and that kind of proves you can make anything into a shop. All right, guys. So this is how to make a unique simulator shop. Uh, I would just say grab one of the assets from your game and try to use that and place it in with Roblox parts and make that a shop. For example, if you had a pirate game, you could use maybe two palm trees and then make a hammock in the middle, like maybe like a hammock tent something sort of thing i think that'd be pretty cool <laughs> i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but that is gonna wrap up today's video if you did enjoy and you want to see more you gotta like comment and subscribe guys have a great day later